Hello everybody, my name is Rune Eldred. Welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake's American Nightmare. We're gonna continue on. I'm here audibly with It's Your Boy Chris. Chris, I'm just gonna be uh, playing uh, Alan Wake while I talk to you. Sure. John manager John bought me the second game and I've been putting off playing it because I wanted to finish American Nightmare because it bridges the gap between the a two place games. For a man to witness the magnificence mm. of the universe. But I'm kind but of regretting how long I've been putting off on it. Of light is looking for. Mm. He That's has cool. come to find but. weapons. You like it's cool. Start playing it, huh? Yeah, man. It's awesome. Is it running around naked cool? Okay, so that's Pens. how I run. Can't go that way. Don't you love when you haven't picked up a game in like forever and you have to remember how to fucking play? Uh, yeah, I feel it. I felt like that was Suicide Squad for a sec. We just didn't play it for so long and I went on there and I was I actually kind of. I don't know how way. to, um. Yeah, like, when you're doing your traversal, and, like, you can push something to make it go a little bit longer or whatever. I, like, don't remember how to do that. I didn't remember there being a thing for you to do that. I just remember, like, having to time your traversal really well. Yeah, that's, that's just what I do. There we go, now we got enemies coming after me. Now this feels familiar. Killing people with a nail gun. <laughs> I'm running around with a nail gun and a flashlight. Cause this is it's a nasty mine. way to. It's a nasty way to kill someone. Just non-stop nails to the face. Welcome to my nightmare, bitch. Just nail gun, nail gun, nail gun, nail gun. <laughs> I've seen the enemy. They're like, it's ow, me. this like somewhat I hurts. I've dark horrors before, things that live in the unimaginable pressures of the world beyond our own. Mine's just the I'm like, I, I could, they didn't That's have another nail gun. Inside, Mr. He's every mean-spirited tabloid story about me. An evil caricature, a creature formed Can you imagine being such a tortured artist that you create an evil the dark version of yourself of people who heard that becomes a, a real-life serial killer? An urban legend made flesh. A serial killer. My Jeez. dark half. Brought to life by this the game. power of I don't, I don't know. I think Alan Wake, like, the the first game is on Game Pass. You should check it out. If it is. Mm -hmm. it, it, I, I played it just to randomly experience it. I knew nothing about the mm -hmm. game. It became one of my all-time favorite games. That's cool. I even went and bought the novel to the game because I enjoyed it so much. Listen, listen, listen. You need to back up, officer. You're gonna get nail gun. I nailed him good. That's right, Alan Wake. Man of the puns. Flashbangs, flares, pump action, shotgun ammo. I love how I'll spend the first like half hour of this video 
not going anywhere near the objective. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just too distracted by stapling people's fucking face. Pretty much. You gotta find your missing pages that you wrote for your novel that somehow managed to get scattered all throughout the land. Because that's what happens in that. Manuscript page. The spiders aren't really the work of the enemy. They're assigned <coughs> a part of okay, the dark I don't like place how this less significant fauna that has managed to slip through the opening I made side. when I arrived. Less an animal than an idea that has assumed the form of an animal. Makes them no less dangerous. But at least they're a little easier to deal with. The darkness doesn't protect them like the Taken. And thus they can be destroyed by either light or bullets right away. Okay, yeah, no. It looks like I'm gonna have a new enemy type that's gonna be a bunch of spiders. What? Yep. You know, you know how much I already hate that? Switch from the pump action to the uh, auto carbine. Forty manuscript pages for the combat shotgun. combat in Arkham Knight is so f fun. Bro, the combat in Arkham Knight is so good. The tank fighting in Arkham Knight is so good. Yeah, oh my god, it's so fun. The pressure of success got to me. My wife Alex I haven't, yeah, I haven't really played much of this game. I played a little bit. It wasn't and I don't know why I stopped. I couldn't write anymore. It wasn't like I, I was like, oh, I suppose it's feeling it. I it whatever was trouble cool. I could scare up. You should I definitely dive into it as much sure as you can Alice because a lot of stuff that happens in that game is important to Suicide Squad. It was my dumb luck. She's not the type to give up. Yeah, no, I'm I'm playing it right now. Yeah, like I'm gonna start. You know. You better be. Okay, that's the carbine. Fuck you, bird. Please? Hello? I'm Dr. Rachel Meadows and... Wait a moment, it's you! I can't believe you dare show your face around here again. Come on, nobody else want to fight me? I need to heal. Alright. Go away. It wasn't me. I just look like him. Are you serious? That's what you're going with? Please. I'm trying to stop him. You saw those shadow things trying to kill me, right? I bet he got along with them just fine. Yes. Yes, he did. All right. Come on in. Thank you. Yes. Safety. Talk to Dr. Meadows. <coughs> hey, buddy. I figured I'd take a moment to talk to you. I also love There's how this game door. uses live action I'm pretty good right now. and with the gameplay too. A little beer, mm. a little fun, you know? Oh, does it? It's yeah. Nice. 
So it's like right now I'm watching a TV uh, and it's it? my evil There's counterpart that's talking to me through me the too, TV. You know? I mean, but the evil counterpart's actually no played shit. by the actor. I mean, so it's all in live I'm action. Here. I know you, right? Oh, that's cool. So I was thinking maybe we could... Huh. Never mind. You can hear him laughing in the background as he just murders them. Flares, some flashbangs. Just a moment, I'll set the lift down to you. I didn't expect to see anyone here tonight, but I'm relieved to see an actual person. That's assuming this isn't some kind of cruel trick on your part, of course. Doctor, the man who looked like me, what did he want here? There's a strange astronomical event happening right now, something I can't begin to classify, but I think it's disabled our satellites. There's a very peculiar signal that we're receiving. A signal? That's what I'm here for. Well, so was he, but he didn't seem to understand it at all. He got very angry, sabotaged our imaging array, and now we're blind. I believe the event is still going on, it's... but we can't pick it up. Is there something we can do? What he broke is essentially just a special camera, but we can't use the telescope without it. There's a replacement in my car. If you can get that to me, we're back in business. Consider it done. Tell me more about the signal. It's almost as if something's being transmitted to Night Springs. It's the strangest thing. It's quite elusive, almost as if it wasn't properly there. I don't know how to describe it. So, what was the signal like? I wish I knew. He appeared before I had a good fix on it. He was very pleasant when I was working, but when I isolated the signal, he suddenly forced me out of the control booth. He said it was none of my business. He seemed to... to change. Bad Somehow he... <clears throat> he was very smooth and charming before that, but suddenly he became... Chris? I'm sorry. I'm not sure the I want boom, to... Bing. Bada boom, bada bing. I have to ask, do you always yeah. wear that to work? I was at a party. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like still here, I'm just... No, 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 you're good, you're good. I was you're called good, away by my assistant. 
Michael was the first to spot this event. Uh, am I good? I don't know where he is now, actually. Playing some Arkham Knight. Some food, but he I never get showed it. Up. I, I, I'm going to be live streaming oh, Arkham City today. It looks as if stars were changing. Oh, cool. I like Arkham well, City. That was the first one that I, I played. It isn't really happening, of course. Most likely I it's fortunately played them all in order. Atmospheric refraction phenomenon. But I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, I played Arkham City, Did and then I got no, Arkham Asylum. No, you didn't quite threaten me exactly, but those shadowy I haven't played Arkham Origins. That's the only the one was, that I haven't actually played. Origins is watched. the hardest one to find now. I thought unless you buy it on my PC. You were lucky. He's done I much worse. did see a copy yes. at our GameStop he me a knife, for and he kept 20 talking. bucks. He enjoyed Which is rare because that game sells mania. online for like you eighty really to one hundred and fifty. Believe me, it doesn't even have like the same voice game. actors and shit, right? No, because it, it takes place. It's supposed to be a prequel, with them being younger. So instead of like Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill, it's uh, Roger Craig Smith and Troy Baker, which, in my opinion, did phenomenal jobs voicing the people. That's cool. And honestly, if I were if I were to make the suggestion, I think it would be amazing to continue with them forward, being the fact that Conroy is, you know, untimely yeah. passing and, Clark, and try to be careful. Hamill it's a not wanting to reprise the role without his Batman. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, that sounded more callous than I intended. Oh, yeah, that would be safe. cool. It's so fucking hard to get. Uh, because of how rare it is now. Really? Yeah. Huh. I went through for like, so you know how on the group channel, I'm playing through the entire Arkham series, so I've obviously had to go through Arkham Origins and all that. Mm hmm I went through. Well, so you played it, on, it? Yeah, I went through it on PC. Okay. There you go. I do recommend though if you're if like I might go tomorrow. This must be your car. To look, oh my god, there's cobwebs everywhere. Ugh. Uh, spiders. So many spiders everywhere. Just run. The spiders aren't that bad. Do rest though. Well, I fucking hope not. They're fucking spiders. I found it! Excellent. I'll operate the platform directly below the telescope so you can look for the rest. Don't worry, it's very easy. <coughs> <coughs> pitch black inside the room I was standing in.
problem with the automated coolant system. Somebody just interrupted the flow. So now what? Well, you could go and open the secondary coolant flow valves manually. I know it's dangerous there, but, well... I got it! Please come talk to me if you have questions. I'll just talk to you because I want to talk to you. So what part of Arkham Knight are you at, Chris? Give me one second. Is there something I should know about this coolant thing? Oh no, it's quite straightforward. The telescope is very heavy, and moving it generates a lot of heat. So do all of the electronics. Overheating could cause damage, so it shuts down automatically if the coolant fluid isn't flowing. And hot electronics generate instrument noise, which we want to eliminate as much as possible. What is this coolant anyway? Is it dangerous? We use liquid nitrogen. It's quite safe. If I can make it to the valves in one piece. Yes, there is that. Good luck. I'm assuming you didn't have this kind of trouble using the telescope earlier, when my double was here. No, it went very smoothly, until he turned into a nutter. This doppelganger of yours doesn't seem to want anyone else to look at this phenomenon. Honestly, it seems a little pointless to me. There are many eyes on the sky. I'm not sure what we're gonna get once this thing is working again, but I have a hunch. I doubt it has anything to do with outer space, or that anyone else can see it. I think it's a message for me. For you? That seems unlikely. And even if it were a very localized phenomenon, surely it's visible to others in the area. Maybe. But I wouldn't bet on it. There's a reason he came here, and a reason he doesn't want me looking at it. Hmm. All right, time to hit the coolant valves. My bad. You're good. I'm just talking with my just father. Just remember, you need to release all three valves. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. Was that good? How's my game going? Alright. Is that what you said? Yeah. Uh, it's going pretty good. Just shooting some firemen with the nail gun. There you go. <laughs> you know how it'd be, you know. Yeah, of course. Sometimes you just gotta shoot firemen with your, your, your nail gun. And take a double pump shotgun to a couple of spiders. You gotta prioritize which enemy means more to you. Fearfully.
It does not help the fact that I don't remember As a storyteller, my first real love grenade. was crime. And it was in that genre that I finished my first novel, starring the perpetually miserable Alex Casey, whose entire life was a wound that never healed. The books sold as fast as they hit the shelves. I wrote five more Alex Casey books, and they all were bestsellers. I became rich. I became famous. Success brought pressure, and I didn't handle it very well. God, don't you hate it when people complain about being famous? Oh, yeah, because it's so hard. Right. I could be famous. I Me wanted too. to. Me too. I could be, like, uberly famous. You know what I mean? I just... I just don't want to, you know, I'm Same. Mean. Like, what's the point, you know? Like, I become this huge like superstar, everybody loves me. Welcome back, listeners. As you know, I'm rich. I'm gotta worry about nothing no more, ever. Life just for. handed to me oh, on a silver platter. I'm dead. I'm having the time of my life. You know, I didn't realize how much I'd miss that. And what about you, Tor? I'm okay, you know. Well, this must bring back a lot of memories. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful to be back on stage. If it wasn't for my knee, <laughs> I'd feel like a young man again. <laughs> well, speaking of that, I hate to keep harping on this age thing, but I gotta tell you, I've heard your new songs, guys, and you sound really good. Thank you. And, uh, this may be a touchy subject, but to be blunt, you really don't sound, uh, well, old. <laughs> I mean, no, <laughs> your, your speaking voice and your singing voice, it's pretty striking. What the hell are you talking about? You uh, saying it's not us like singing on that record? Right, right What's he talking about? No, 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 I'm not saying that, guys, Save but I, I can't help noticing nope. the difference. Son, you're on thin ice. You calling me a liar? Well, hey, let me just step in here for a moment, boys. Yeah, Barry. they do sound different. But believe me, we're not talking Millie Vanilli here. These guys are the real deal. Why don't you come to the gig tomorrow night? See for yourself. Oh. Ah, all right, brother. I'm going to hop off. I'm getting tired. Oh, all right, brother. Really? Let me know if you need a ride to work tomorrow. It's almost like magic. Yeah, for sure, man. I'll let you know. You see the old gods for real. These guys project a lot of power. And I'm like... All right, Barry. I'll, I'll see if I can make it. I need to find, I need to find light. No, we're not just stand in one spot listening to a radio station. It's gonna be a problem down the road. Taking some slaps, though.
14. I've carried a flashlight and a gun for so long that I feel naked without either. It's all too often that I need them. The darkness protects the taken. Shadows crawl over their forms like living things, protecting them from harm. Blows that would injure or kill a human outright mean nothing to them as long as the darkness persists. But light makes them vulnerable. Light burns the shadows away. The darkness that drives them is still in them, but now they're vulnerable. Flashlight and gun. Sometimes it feels they're all I have left. All right, nice. Um, the valve I need is right here. Come on, let me in. I released all the valves, Doctor. Is it working? Just bear with me a moment. Yes, I believe you've got it sorted. It's working again. Nicely done. That sounds like trouble. I don't think they're happy with our success. Sighted in now. I still have no idea what I'm looking at, but it's very strange, very strange indeed. Oh, where are my manners? Please, come on up. I'm sorry, I was distracted. It's all good, it's all good, Doc. I'm coming to you. what it is yet let alone where it's coming from but it's interacting with our system somehow like it was intended for us but i don't understand how that could be maybe that's just how the story goes what never mind 
Is there a way I can hear it? Or however this is supposed to work? I think the signal is incomplete somehow. But you should be getting a printout of it now. What do you mean it's incomplete? It's almost as if we're only getting a fragment of it. But I need of we are. the whole thing. This is important. I'm sure it is, but this is all we're getting. Did the man who looks like me get the whole thing? He locked me out of the booth, so I have no way of knowing. But I can tell you that he didn't really seem to understand it. So, what's in the sky? It doesn't make any sense. The stars are just... they're wrong. I thought I'd be able to see something, but the it's like I'm looking at a sky that's just... Are wrong. It's not the white sky. But that's impossible. I consider myself a rational man, Doctor. But this isn't a thing you can measure or explain. I I've seen impossible things that have taught me just to roll with some punches. It's either that, or go insane. I find it disturbing that you sound like you're speaking from ample experience. Alright, let's take a look at the little printer over here. A printout of a signal. It, too, is a weapon created by the Champion of Light. In its words, stirs a new reality. But it is incomplete. And yet, it provides a roadmap for the man to follow. A course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. There we go. <coughs> Head into the drive-in theater. Hot Springs Drive-in Theater. The 12th annual the NSVA Film Festival. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here. All right, everybody, we are going to end this episode here, though. I really hope everybody is having fun with the Alan Wake Saga playlist. Um, well, I guess it's not really an Alan Wake Saga playlist, more as it is just Alan Wake being crumped together in three different playlists. As soon as we finish American Nightmare, we will be moving on to Alan Wake 2. So hopefully I will finish that here relatively soon as I am looking forward to getting that done. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, night, rest, lunch, and whatever time of day you viewed this. Remember to click the in-screen annotations to be taken to other playlists. The bottom left will take you to the American Nightmare playlist. The upper left will take you to the very first game with Alan Wake Remastered. The upper right will take you to another throwback playlist probably the dead space one since i am releasing those videos in tandem today make sure hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon to be notified when videos come out and i will see you in the next episode toodaloo everybody